Good evening, I'm Josh Tolentino, sports editor of The Vedette, joined by my co-host Jason Clare, and this is the weekly edition of The Vedette Redbird Beat. Jason, you followed this team quite closely over the past couple of years, an eight-win season last season, a two-win season the year before. What does Barb Smith need to do this year to get the Redbirds back on the winning track? Fresh players on the roster, ISU welcomes in seven new players this season, six of which are freshmen. Now, although this team is youthful, athletic is one word I describe it as. I've been to a couple practices this year and watching this team compete. You have to love the grit this team carries along with them. Barbara Smith, when I talked to her earlier this season, she was excited being able to mold these young athletes into something and hopefully hold on to them for the four-year period. Taylor Stewart is the lone player on the Redbirds roster who Barb Smith has coached from freshman, sophomore, junior, senior year. That is one thing I feel like the team has lacked. And now Barb Smith has a chance to, fresh, to start fresh with these girls. What is your season prediction? And also a pre prediction for tonight, uh, NAI opponent uh, coming into Red Bird Arena. My season prediction is I think they will finish right around the middle of the pack in the MVC between the six and eight spots. I am guessing this team will also earn about 10 wins, the most since 2013-14. Now, Josh, although this is an NAIA team, do not take the Hornets lightly. They average 14 offensive rebounds per game. This team is going to be attacking the boards, and ISU cannot take this game lightly. We should also mention that ISU was picked to finish eighth in the Missouri Valley. A pretty fair uh, prediction for the Redbirds. Josh, yes it is, and you know, although there's only 10 total wins over the past two seasons, a lot of other issues have taken place. I look at it, just a revolving door around players. A lot of players have had trouble staying with, uh, with the team. So Barb Smith may be on the hot seat, but the blame cannot be directly put on her. I am looking for the Redbirds to kind of build off last year, have, build a solid foundation, and win as many games as possible. Do not turn the ball over, play solid physical basketball, and there's no reason why this team can't reach the double-digit win benchmark. That's the Vedette women's, beat, women's basketball beat reporter. You heard him. I is predicting I should reach double-digit wins this season. Join us every week on the Vedette Redbird Beat to keep you up to date with the freshest ISU athletic news. For Josh Tolentino, I'm Jason Clare. Join us next week.